The year 1999 should have its own genre for animal attack movies. Originally, I was going to go ahead and jump into Deep Blue Sea because it's been something that I've said I'd get around to after rewatching Lake Placid, Komodo, and King Cobra, but just when you thought you'd seen all the animal attack movies from 99, another one pops up out of nowhere, and I, <laughs> I can honestly say that this one I hadn't seen before. But boy, am I glad I got around to it because this thing is definitely a case of so bad it's good. Bats is a 1999 horror movie directed by Louis Morneau. It stars Dina Meyer, Lou Diamond Phillips, and Bob Gutton. The movie is basically about a group of bats that have been genetically experimented on and released into Texas where they mount a terrifying rampage through a small town. Now, when I say this movie is funny, I really mean it, man. And while there are sections where everything slows down and the story can get kind of boring, when the action ramps up, this movie is just too ridiculous to ignore. It's very generic and it copies a lot of tropes from other creature, science fiction, or action adventure films at the time. It even does the whole helicopter landing next to some experts conducting research thing that was started in Jurassic Park. Hey, you knew the reference was coming. You know, we saw it copied in Alien vs. Predator. We saw it copied in Godzilla. And now in Bats, we get the whole helicopter dropping down like, Doctor, what's your name? We have a project for you. When I was in Vietnam, I saw a little Vietnamese kid who had an albino bat on a string. In the same way that our kids would play with gas-powered airplanes, he kept this albino bat on a string flying it around, got the biggest kick out of it. What? It's just, it's not that bad to begin with. You know, some of these movies you expect to be kind of cheesy and, you know, just dated. But the more this thing goes on, the more I was just, I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. It does the whole thing where we have an autopsy scene. They're going over the remains of something that, some guy that has been attacked by a creature. And that's where we learn this was no boating accident. This was evil bats that have been tearing people asunder earlier in the movie. In fact, the opening of the film copies, in my opinion, the kill scene in Carnosaur from 1993 where that little Deinonychus thing jumped in the Jeep and ripped those people up. You kind of get the same thing with a bat in this film. We learn that the actual creatures are flying foxes and they're out there attacking people and spreading a disease, which is basically the crux of what the movie is. We have to stop this disease that can only spread to other bats. You see, the flying foxes, there's like two leaders or something, and they go around infecting all the bats, and then the bats infect other bats, and they all swarm as a giant group and kill people and dude let me tell you There is a part, at, I just thought this was all bland, whatever, it's a creature feature, whatever. You get to like the big action scene in the middle of the movie where all the bats come together to attack a town. And oh my God, it was so goofy. It was so funny. I found myself chuckling at first and then I had uncontrollable laughter. I was just, dude, this is just one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I gotta say that you, you got the whole checklist. You got the attractive female lead, she's like a scientist, and then you've got the black dude that's got the funny dialogue as like her second in command. You've got the cowboy sheriff out there trying to wrangle up all, you, oh my God, this movie is, it's it's got a mad scientist who thinks he can control the bats. It's just, it is really fun shit. It is not a good movie, but 
I have to recommend you guys checking it out and watching it with some friends. This is the kind of movie that you sit around, drink some beers, and just have a good time with. It was so surprising to me that nobody has really mentioned this in any other, like, Halloween list or something like that. I'm sure that they have, but I grew up watching Deep Blue Sea, Lake Placid, Komodo, King Cobra, of course the Jurassic Park and Lost World movies, and all the other ancient ones like Reptilicus, the Godzilla films, Creature from the Black Lagoon, what, everything Ray Harryhausen, everything King Kong, but bats? I'd never seen this thing before, and when I was watching it, I was having a blast. <laughs> What I think people will enjoy the most with this film is the fact that the movie is so ridiculous and cheesy in a 1990s kind of way that you can get past the badness and have fun with just how insane it all is. I have no idea what the goal was with this film, other than to just make another horror movie, but man, like I said, I was laughing so hard. And anyways, these are all just my own thoughts on this subject matter. What do you guys think of Bats, and have you seen this movie from 1999? I know most of us have seen Deep Blue Sea, Lake Placid, blah blah blah. Dude, this one? Whatever your thoughts happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.